Aquarius, where and explore love first, um, and then career, uh, creative pursuits, etc. So let's see what's happening for you Aquarians watching uh, for love, romance, relationships. Okay, some of you are walking away. Yes, you are. Okay, you've made up your mind. Um, the thing that's going to occur is going to change your perspective, Aquarius. And I really think it's you unless you're dealing directly with another air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? Um, I feel like it's going to make up your mind about leaving a situation, okay? Um, it's going to make up your mind fairly, very quickly. So maybe I want to say to you, slow down and give it more thought or give it more time before you decide to leave or walk away from a situation here. Now, of course, this won't be for all of you, but for some of you, there possibly is someone who's mentally uh, disconnecting from you as well. Now, they, you might find that communication is going from, you know, talking very frequently, talking about a lot of things, being very inquisitive about each other, being very open to suddenly, you know, you feel very disconnected, you feel cold you feel distant to okay you want to walk away and remove yourself or this is how this person could be feeling now not for all of you but for some of you with the five of swords here this is walking away from a certain situation here letting go detaching and possibly some emotional trauma as indicated by these men who are deeply upset here um, that is occurring around you look i feel as though some of you might have complications with friends or family members approving the person you're with or you might find that communication um, between friends and family with your loved one is not going very smoothly and that's impacting on your connection or your existing relationship here which can create those tower moments it creates drama and it rocks the boat and it's either things go one of two ways it's either you Tackle it head on with the Knight of Swords. You get in, you get right in there, you get stuck in there, and you do what you need to do. Okay, you address what you need to address. You go through those hurdles, you go through that pain. Because why? It's going to make you grow. Okay, the Empress is here. It's either make or break. It's either you grow and you grow very powerfully together and you find more stability, consistency, and loyalty in your relationship, or you walk away altogether. You might seek help from a friend, okay, someone that might be help, um, helpful or help point you in the right direction in your relationships. Um, for some of you, if you've walked away from a situation, I'm seeing that there's a lot of communication coming in from a lot of different people or lovers or people who are interested in you, okay? Um, you've got the Empress here and she rules beauty and sex and passion. So you have people that can give you that. If you're wanting that Aquarius, you've got people around you that can absolutely give you that. Now, the Empress for some of you rules fertility. So there might be pregnancy news, yours, you know, someone watching, uh, someone that you know quite well. Um, there might be pregnancy um, news with the Empress here. And maybe it's unplanned. Okay, the tower can hit and we don't know what's coming. So for a lot of you, it can be very unplanned or you haven't thought it through or you haven't known this person long enough to plan a family with them. For some of you, it's been a long time coming. You know, it's created factions in your family. It's created tension in your relationship. And suddenly, this news makes things more calm. The Knight of Pentacles brings calm, okay? He brings calm. The uh, Pentacles is the last element of the deck here. So this is quite powerful. It does override the tower. So whatever it is that the tower is bringing you, uh, possibly in relationships, there's, there's the calm and it's going to come after the storm, okay? Much more stability. Things settle down. He's not pacing. He's not like the Knight of Swords. Um, he's much more controlled. He's much more tame um, and much more um, loyal in a situation. So if you're wanting loyalty from someone, you're going to get that. But unfortunately, you need to cross that boundary, okay? Something needs to happen. Something's got to give before you're entitled to that loyalty or before someone is... Uh, um, deserving of that loyalty from you Aquarius you know the roles could be reversed here uh, as well um but there could be a destined earth sign coming in 
and it could be through career for some of you Aquarians you might be working with someone here that you're going to develop a very intimate relationship with um, the Empress is highly sexual and she rules sexual and spiritual attraction here so some of you if you've left someone behind or you stop talking to someone there's someone new that's going to come into the picture very very um, soon after now if you're involved in in a um, a marriage or a long-term partnership there could be some but it's, it's either make or break like I said it can go one of two ways something you weren't expecting but it's either going to make you evolve as a couple you know evolve higher as individuals as a couple or it's going to create factions okay it's going to have someone feeling like they're backed up in a corner um, it's going to have someone reveal how they truly and honestly feel there's a lot of brutal honesty coming in around you I do I sense that okay um so you need to take everything for what it is. Of course, every situation is different, but if you have intuition around you, the Empress is highly intuitive. If you have intuition, intuition, and you know the direction where something is going, Aqua, I want you to I want you to trust that. Okay, especially during the upcoming month. Let's move on to your career, um, work situation, uh, creative pursuits, business pursuits finances let's see what the cards can reveal in regards to your situation here okay chariot okay a lot of progression happening on the work front which is really really positive again i just want to illuminate this theme of things coming to the surface here the death card rules a sign of scorpio which is elusive mysterious the subconscious okay things that aren't yet revealed to the surface here now things are going to be revealed not in the most ideal way aquarius but something is going to dawn on you the sun is going to rise something is going to be illuminated here that has not yet been spoken of or revealed it could be business plans launches changes restructures even redundancies because the death card is loss okay and it's grieving that loss and there is grief there is nervous energy here so some of you there is a precarious situation um coming in the work front okay staying or going the decision to stay or go the decision between two different roles i'm not seeing something that's being offered to you i'm seeing progression more than anything because the chariot rules mobility um progress uh fame reputation notoriety but let's talk about the chariot for a second here and the symbolism behind the chariot oftentimes in the ancient world um, according to history um, these mighty generals emperors leaders um, military commanders would come and um, parade through the streets with the chariot card following battle following victory following conquest and I want to focus on that because I do feel like you've got challenges coming up, but it's almost like you're going to have something to show for it once all these challenges are over and once you overcome them. It's almost like that you're going to add a notch to your belt here. So um, in a way, it's going to add uh, credence or it's going to support your resume or it's going to put you on some sort of platform here. There's possibly even fame and reputation, okay, um, idolatry that's coming in around you could also be a cancer or a scorpio coming in there's strong earth energy here as well however um but i do see lots of money next to you let's look at that money so there might be losses but with death comes life so if you're engaging in financial losses things that happen very quickly what follows is the number eight which is abundance and it follows right after the tower card and you've got the nine and the queen of pentacles here so monetarily you're going from the six of pentacles to the nine to the queen this is beautiful okay if you're seeking financial assistance you're going to get it if you're seeking some sort of loss uh, returns for some sort of loss or compensation for something you've lost uh, maybe through addictions maybe through investments whatever it is you're going to see some sort of funds or something monetarily return to you that's going to restore harmony once again um, look, there's possibly even travel opportunities um, coming in around you as well. You might be asked to travel. You might be asked to um, service new areas. You might be in foreign cities um, or travel interstate or even internationally for the purposes of work. There could also be um, something from the past coming back in with the death card. A past employer, a past colleague that you used to know. Um, you're going to connect with this person. I don't know if they have something here to offer you or I don't know if they're the bearer of some sort of news here, whether it be bad news, whether it be good news, but they have something to present here to you. Um, 
But I love these two cards. I feel like it points to resources and investments. The Nine of Pentacles, you know, is 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 quite a card of luxury, as is the Queen. They could um, represent a large amount of money or an asset, okay, that's going to be bought by the company, bought by you um, as well. But somehow your past is coming back for a lot of you in career or creative pursuits. Could be past ideas. Could also be um, a collaboration that's forming or starting to form. Um, and it could be from a friend. So it's someone you trust. You've got an emotional connection because a chariot is connected to cancer. So you already know this person. You can trust them. Um, could even be an overseas investor, an overseas family member, an overseas friend um, or previous colleague that wants to fund some sort of enterprise or project. But they want to be connected with you in some way, Aquarius. Or I feel like some sort of plans to do with overseas trips or holidays or servicing some sort of areas um, that are foreign to you are coming up very, very strongly. But earth signs are trustworthy. Fire signs could be explosive. They might be displaying a little bit of bipolar behavior, even a little bit of a hypocrisy. Okay, someone might go back on their word here. Okay, dysfunction, remember that. And secrecy, okay, things that are secret, things that are kept in wraps. You might be informed of some sort of change happening within the company, but you're going to ask, you're going to be asked to sign a confidentiality agreement so you don't share this news with anyone else, okay? Things like this could be coming up. I will leave it at that though, Aqua. Thank you again. Take care and we shall be connecting next week. So thanks again, Aqua. Bye for now.